Okay, now let's talk about taking snapshots for CheckTable. Now you're going to find that this is pretty much exactly the same as it is with CheckDB, only now we're going to get to use that, uh, that snapshot retention minutes, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the snapshot path table. There we go. And you'll see that I've got a row in here for minion check table and I'm going to send everybody to the exact same location right we've already talked about paths so I'm not going to talk about that again and then if I come here to the settings snapshot table you see I don't have a custom row for the minion database so it's going to rely on the minion default row for check table and I do have custom snapshot set but i do not have the retention minutes set which means that all of the check tables are going to use the exact same snapshot now let's talk about retention just for a minute so if you've got a large database that's really really busy and you're going to be uh, possibly filling up your drive space from all of the activity because this takes so long then it may really be in your best interest to set up a snapshot retention minutes which is going to drop and recreate the snapshot on your schedule so let's say that you know you can withstand 30 minutes of check db before it fills up the drive well i wouldn't run it that close i would actually set it at something like 25 minutes myself um, so you could set the snapshot retention minutes to 25 and when it hit 25 minutes it would of course roll to the next uh it would roll to the next snapshot it would drop the current one and then it would create a new one and then it would continue on to the next table and of course this is all contingent that you know you don't have it set for 20 minutes or 25 minutes or 30 minutes and you've got a single table that takes an hour and a half right there's no way that the routine can stop in the middle of what it's doing in the middle of a table and recreate a snapshot and then have it finish that table on a new snapshot so just be aware that you know if you set it at every 20 minutes or every 30 minutes and you've got one table that takes a really long time say 40 minutes or an hour and a half right that you're gonna you know you're going to run into a problem there when you get to that one table so just make logical choices here um or you know move the snapshot to a new drive that can withstand that one large table and that's how you would manage that you don't you don't put it on a small drive and then say oh gee i can't seem to do a check table against this table because it always fills up the snapshot put it on a larger mm -hmm. on a larger drive but this will at least allow you to uh to keep that snapshot in check so it's not just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So maybe instead of like a 200 gig snapshot drive, you can get away with only a 50 gig snap, snapshot drive, something like that, right? Okay, so uh, here we are not doing that. So let's go ahead and run just a regular uh, check table process against the minion database. And we're gonna get our custom snapshot. Now right here, you see I don't have any snapshots and I don't have it set to delete the final snapshot so we should get our final snapshot in there and this actually takes less than a minute so let me come in here here's the one we're running and so I can see that the check table is running if it, if it takes long enough for it to fill in a percent complete then we'll get that here and of course the ID we're at 1626 now we're at 1697 Now we're at 1725, and let's see, I think this takes about, it'll be about 10 more seconds or so. Let's see where we are. We're at 1752. So you can see it's rolling through the objects. And this one just finished. And there we go. And you can see, so this is run 393. I can see by the, I go by the milliseconds, so it's run 393. And if I look at all the 393 runs, you see that all of them from here up all of them are using the same snapshot so remember that check db name is the one that the snapshot is running is the one that the check db is actually running against and in this case it's a snapshot so here they're all running against the exact same snapshot all the way up the line okay let's go ahead and go back to this guy and let's set 
snapshot retention equal to one minute. You would never do this in production. To set a snapshot at one minute, I think, is absolutely ludicrous. Um, if, if you've got that requirement, then you need to have your snapshots on a larger drive. Uh, I'm envisioning something like this, somebody setting it every 20 minutes, every 60 minutes, every 120 minutes, every 90 minutes, every 30 minutes, something like that, right? But, you know, every one minute, that's, I mean, it's, it's possible because I'm going to do it, but it's just not, it, it's not a good production scenario. Uh, anyway, so here we go. I'm going to update this. And what this is going to do is it's going to set that for every single one of them. Let me pull that in here. There we go. So now I have snapshot retention minutes set for everybody. And of course, it's only applicable to the check tables, right? It doesn't even apply to check DB. So, uh, and, and for the purposes of this demo, this is fine. Usually you would want to uh, only set this retention for specific databases that have, you know, the, 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 that you're having the issue on, right? So, okay. So now when we run this, actually, I've got a wait for in here that I uncomment because that whole routine didn't take very long. It took less than a minute. I have to put a wait for in there for the purposes of this demo so I can increase the time. And I think this increases the time to something like 13 minutes. So it's, it's going to take a while. So let me go ahead and get this started. Yes. And let's come over here and make sure it actually did start. Right, so we're on our 410 run. Perfect. And we're climbing up. So this is going to take about 13 minutes. I'm going to hang here with you for the first minute just so that we can see. We're at 20, almost 25 seconds now. Just so that we can see that first snapshot get recreated. And here, let's take a look. You can see I've already got a snapshot here, right? Um, from the last one and the current one. I don't know what the current one is. Current one is that 3770. So this is the current snapshot. So here we're almost at a minute. Let me do this. And you see I'm still using that 3770, right? So I'm here on my 410 run. And I've got 3770 all the way up the board. And I should be crossing that threshold. This Okay, so I'm at a minute two now. Let's see if we've created our snapshot yet. And here we are, we've got our new snapshot. And as I refresh this guy right here, you can see that that other one has been dropped, and now I'm at the uh, 3327 one, and it's going to run for a minute and so on. So I'm going to pause this, and then we'll come back in a few minutes when this whole thing is done, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this routine finished, and it took about 14 minutes. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. So we're in our 410 run again, and what we're looking for is for this CheckDB name to change, right? So you can see it changes here, it changes there, it changes there, it changes there. I'm right here. It changes there, it changes there. So we're definitely getting our snapshot rotation, right? Our dynamic snapshots. Let's take a look here and see how often we're getting them or how many tables are being processed by each one, right? So I can do that with a simple query with a group by. There we go. And I can see how many tables are processed in each one. Not too bad, huh? So there we go. We've got our... Uh, custom snapshots with check table and we are able to do uh, the dynamic snapshotting uh, every minute or in your case it's going to be every 30 minutes or every hour right every 20 minutes something like that. I can't stress that enough don't do this every minute and there you go it's just that easy